Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today we're going to do an unboxing and a review of an Oster Flip Waffle Maker. This is something you can get at pretty much any big box store or any department store and it should cost between $30 and $40 uh, when it's not on sale. Uh, some things about this uh, Flip Waffle Maker, uh, they talk about it's cooking the way you like it, perfect every time. It's got a rotary feature which evenly spreads the batter, adjustable temperature control, and it's got a cool touch handle with release a removable drip tray which is nice and a space saving vertical compact design. Uh, it's perfect for waffle lovers. It's an easy to use appliance and makes thick delicious waffles in minutes. And all that stuff is right there in front of the box so it's designed to sell this to you. Now we're going to try it out and unbox it and I'm going to see what it's really like. like that song. It comes fairly well protected in this clamshell of a uh, styrofoam, so it shouldn't be damaged at all. That's good packaging. It has directions. It shows a black one and a chrome one. This is the black one, wrapped in plastic. And then it looks like it's fully assembled. Okay, we'll just unwrap this. Plug looks like it's about four feet long, which I guess is appropriate for a countertop appliance. You don't want a 10 foot cord. And for the Belgian nonstick surface, it looks like they have something in between it. So there it is. It's got all the units. Uh, we'll probably have to, it says, please remove the sticker before use. That pulls right off, that's good. And this feature looks really smart. It's a, it's a tray that goes underneath because you're bound to spill batter. And there we go. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. Look at this a little closer. Alright, on top you've got the uh, rheostat which controls the heat and then a power light and a ready light. So it must be uh, lighting green when it's ready so when it reaches the temperature. It's got kind of a safety lock here or either this is folds for better storage, I'm not sure. Yeah, it just, it just folds for storage. But it's got a cool touch handle, which is nice. Rotates 180 to get it cooking, and it's got a light on each side. Ready, ready. That's good. All right, it's been about three minutes. The directions say it takes about five to eight minutes for the ready light to come on, uh, for the surface to reach baking temperature, but the ready light is already on. Directions also say before the first use of the day, make sure you brush the uh, surface with a vegetable oil or you can use a cooking spray. So I'm going to use a cooking spray, top and bottom. One, two, and we're just going to pour a little bit on there. I don't know how much it takes, so we'll see. Okay, well, we'll do a little more. I imagine that was about a cup of batter. Close this. I'll just note the time here. We'll watch for the, uh, the light. Alright, the directions say it takes about a minute and a half to cook. Um, it's the first time ever, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but uh, I took a peek there and it looked like it was cooking well, but it wasn't yet golden brown or crunchy on the surface, so I closed it quick and we're going to give it another minute. Alright, the green ready light just went out, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. And it looks like I could have used a little more batter. It's spongy, not crispy hard. Let me try to pull it out and get it on a plate. Okay, there it is. It came off pretty neat. This is kind of spongy. Not really like a waffle crunchy feel. So I'm going to do one more and I'm going to leave it in there longer or turn the temperature up and see if I can get it a little hotter. But it works pretty neat. The only mess I have to clean up is something that went over the side. 
and that should be non-stick as well to clean up with just a, uh, a wet rag. My overall impression of this thing is uh, it's going to take me a few times to get used to the right setting for us, but it looks like it works as designed. Uh, as far as longevity, we'll see. But right now, on a scale of F to an A, I'd probably give this a B+. If you like my videos, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.